Hey, 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 my delightful darlings. So, I had a couple of people reach out to me and suggest that I did my apartment tour in a different way and make it shorter. So, I'm bringing you guys just that. So, this is another rendition. This is a shorter version of my Project Living apartment tour. And I hope that you guys like this one better. So this is the front door entry into the living room. And this is my LED light up entertainment system that I built, y'all. I built that. All right, my floral arrangements say blessed and friends become our chosen family because your vibes attract your tribe. A lot of fake plants because I only got the mental capacity to keep me and my children alive. This is the wall. It says family where love begins and love never ends. And a playpen that my baby don't ever get to go in because it's always filled up with clean laundry. That's my couch. I got it from Home Goods, I believe. Some more fake plants and that mirror I got from Home Goods. Y'all, I did a shopping video from when I first found out that I got this apartment. I'm going to post it and let y'all see it. Some random petroleum jelly from, of course, my son. Some bean bags for my son and daughter when they need to sit on the floor. And that's the blinds. And outside is my patio. I'm about to show you guys my patio. Y'all, me and my babies are in love with our space, man. We are in love. It's the inside that matters. But this is my patio, a grass rug that my mama got me. Um, a patio set that my mama got me. A lot of decorative stuff is stuff that I got from my mama and daddy house. I got my rugs from my kitchen and my living room hanging on the patio balcony because I was beating my rug like an old lady, y'all. So, and I'm cheap, so, and I'm not working. So, a lot of the stuff that I find is either from the Dollar Tree or thrift stores. Like, that was $5 from the Dollar Tree. Or the Dollar Twenty Five Tree, excuse me. But, yeah, you can still have nice things and not break your bank. Because, baby, I ain't even got no bank to break. And you wouldn't know that I was on uh, subsidized housing if I didn't tell you. I got an arrangement of books. And a lot of decorative items. I either got them from me couponing, thrifting, or, you know, stealing them from my mama and daddy house. You know, the little baby. Ooh, them baby Buddhas was $1.25, y'all. That's my most favorite thing I found at the Dollar Tree so far. This is a storage closet. Nothing special to look at in here. I came from a large house and we had to downsize drastically. So I have stuff put away in there. Once again, some laundry that needs to be done. And now we're about to head into the kitchen. Say hi. Hi. That's <laughs> PJ eating his lunch saying hi. Y'all say it back now. I have black appliances and a white washer and dryer. And y'all, I have a never ending supply of dirty dishes and dirty laundry. It's like, and it don't stop. No, no. And it just go on and on and on and on. But yeah. When I first moved in, I was sad and ashamed and did not want nobody to know my living situation. Only because of the stigma that comes with public housing and living off the government. Y'all know. Y'all be hearing about it. Y'all know. This is our happy place and I take pride in having a home that me and my babies can call our own for the time being to shield us from the outside ways of the world. Bless the food before us, the family beside us, and the love between us. This is the breakfast bar for when we ripping and running in the morning time to get baby girls to school. And this is the pantry, y'all. I normally keep the brooms and the mops on these little things on the wall, the holsters. But PJ getting tall and he can reach on them and they'll fall down and hit his head. So I just keep them on top of the deep freezer. But I used to be an extreme couponer, y'all. And we used to have so many um, shelves in our garage. So this is the only one that I brought. I got vegetables down at the bottom. You know, like little pantry items to keep and store for a rainy day. I'll do a video with my deep freezer one day, y'all. We'll clean it. But, um... Yeah, so the food that I be getting, it seems like a lot, and it's only because I be shopping deals like crazy. Dishwasher that I only use for storage. I hand wash my dishes. A microwave that's clean now, but don't ever really be clean for real. All right, y'all, so I have a three-bedroom, one-bathroom. This is the bathroom. Just look like a regular bathroom, nothing special. The shower curtains from our old house, you know. It does what it needs to do for our family of three.
And y'all let me know if y'all see one of y'all little brown friends pop out so I can send them back to you because we ain't got them over here. At least yet. Because when you have neighbors, you don't know what might jump out at you. It don't matter how clean you are, what they got, you might end up having. All right, this is my super messy linen closet. Y'all, let me know in the comments. Y'all want to do some cleaning up with me and organizing stuff with me? Because I just be throwing stuff in there. Like, I really be. Like, it's just me, and I be tired. I be tired. But I'll do it if y'all say y'all want me to. All right, this is room number one for baby boy and baby girl. I got them currently sharing a room right now because he is two and I'm weaning him off the breast. So I'm about to have him in his own bed until they get sick of each other. But this is her closet, her pom-poms from when she was in cheerleading. And I gave them like a little jungle theme because I felt like that was kind of like unisex. Like a boy and a girl can have a jungle theme. That's her piggy bank, y'all. She be taking all my money, y'all. Both of them be taking her little jewelry bin. You know, she got little storage compartments for certain clothing items. Books, because we read books in my house. There go her little clubhouse corner, her toys. My baby's name is Onyx. You know, she got the little zebra theme going with the jungle theme. And excuse her bed and them blankets, y'all. Every other day, she waking me up talking about what she done did in the middle of the night. But that's PJ's bed. And she has like a loft style bed. So I was able to squeeze a desk underneath it for her to do her homework when she comes home. And that's a comforter that's on the wall. I bought it thinking that I wanted it for her bed. And it was ugly. So I just plastered it on the wall like some wallpaper that's me and her father or me and my children's father both of their fathers uh when onyx was first born this is bedroom number two my bedroom y'all y'all saw how i tried to make this work with this king size bed because i had no money to buy no other bed and it was gonna get in here and that's me in the mirror my sister gave me, baby, because I love me a good hand-me-down. When you got class, it's hand-me-down. It ain't no hand-me-down, but yeah, some more laundry on top of more laundry. Y'all, that was my entertainment system that I was bamboozled into buying on Walmart that I almost spent $100 on. And look at how low that entertainment system sit, y'all. That's why I had to build me mine. So I just made it into my sock drawer. That is a clock that needs to be reprogrammed. Some black art on the wall because I love to see it. I grew up seeing black art all over my wall growing up with grandparents and all that jazz. Some smell goods, perfume, body sprays, some baseball caps for when I don't feel like doing my head. Just throw on a cap. This is a closet. Nothing to see here. Just shoes and clothes. I've been receiving so much love and support, y'all. It just makes my heart melt. And I, I say been receiving some hate too now. I want to let all the haters know before y'all even see. Y'all, if you're going to hate underneath my video, go ahead and go do it underneath all of them. Because what y'all fail to understand is interaction is interaction. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Now, you just decide whether it's going to be nice or nasty. You know, because ain't nothing wrong with getting a little nasty. But I prefer to keep it nice. All right, this baby boy closet. Got some pampers that I need to refill in these little compartments, storage compartments hanging on the door. His shoes, his clothes. I got little storage uh, compartments with labels like socks, hats, outfits already made, jeans, shirts, all that good stuff, vacuum cleaner. And we almost done with the tour, y'all. So this is the third bedroom and a girl still got dreams and aspirations and I'm not gonna give up. This is my sewing room. My fiance had me spoiled, y'all. He took real good care of me and he invested so much in me. I would have been devastated if I would have had to let all of this go. And I'm just so happy I get another chance at life, man. You just don't understand. I am so grateful and I am favored and covered. You trying to get me to read your book? Thank you. Come on, let's go read it. I know it's a lot, but it's an organized mess, y'all. I be messing stuff up in here. And I ain't even sure if I'm saying this right, but I remember my grandma used to tell me this all the time. Don't throw stones when you live in a glass house because the way that you're judging me, 
As good as you got it, baby, it could be taken away with the blink of an eye and a snap of two fingers. So I am happy and I am grateful because me and my babies would have been homeless on the street. So for the people that got anything to say about it, can we come stay with you? All right, then that's what I thought. But come and talk to me, baby, baby, down up in them comments. PJ having a fit because his show ain't on right now. I'm trying to put it on, but the TV taking too long. And subscribe to me, honey. Go ahead, subscribe to me, honey. Hey, and I don't know the words, and I ain't gonna sing it right. Like and hit that notification bell so you can get a ding, ding a ling ling. Cause. I love me some good old dingling. I hope you do too. All right, y'all. OMG, what a beautiful sight. It's you, it's me. Your eyes delight. Baby, don't be scared, because I don't bite, but miss that like button. And bitch, I might. IJK, IJK, we going to be okay. Stick around. I'm posting content on her every day. Bars.